Good morning. Good morning. So we uh, we plan on doing a little bit of driving today. So mm -hmm. we are setting up the uh, rice cooker and on the jackery, and we're gonna make some rice and go rock hounding while we wait for the rice to cook, just so we can charge the battery while we're driving. So we're conserving more battery. <laughs> yeah, we're learning more little ways to become more efficient as we go. We find we're moving different things to different containers and it's getting better as we go. So I think my suggestion to other van lifers trying this out is to just let it happen organically. Start with a mess, start slowly, <laughs> systematically cleaning it up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if your brain works the same way ours does. Yeah, some people are a lot more regimented than we are. We're, <laughs> we're just, you know, We'll go with it. <laughs> yep, as long as it's functional. Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, let's go check out some rocks in this beautiful area here. Uh, Lost Johnny Creek. Where'd he go? Or, Did somebody find him? I don't know if somebody found Johnny. I don't know. He might still be lost. Let's go find him. All right. Hey guys! Hello adventurers! Hop in the back, let's go! You ready? You got the tunes? Let's do this. So we were only had one other person in a sprinter um, down at the end of the campsite. So there's only two people in this campsite. Uh, so it's perfect. Um, a couple cars drove by late at night, but wasn't that bad. But it is beautiful here. Check this out. And this is the first plane we've heard because we're filming. <laughs> it's fall, the leaves are changing here. I think this is gonna be a beautiful day. I realized when I was folding my laundry when we were at the laundromat that everything I wear is plaid. <laughs> so I hope it's cool. <laughs> everything I wear is either gray or blue. <clears throat> I mean, this jacket's black, but it's gray on the inside. So this creek right here, this is either Lost Johnny Creek. Yeah, Lost Johnny Creek. There's a sign right there. We are nine miles from Hungry Horse, which is a little town before you get into West Glacier. Gosh, look at this. I should have brought my big camera. I think I'll take plenty of pictures today though. Wow, we got a bunch of jaspers and that, that layered stone we were seeing back in Noxon. Dang. Some uh, quartz, one little thing. Wow. And look at this beautiful view. All right, let's get to rocking on it, baby. So much stuff we've never seen before. I mean, look at this. It looks like it's just got a bunch of agate veins. Going through a big old block of chert. How cool. There's another one. Ooh. And banded as well. I might actually keep that one. We'll show you some close ups of the rocks later. Pitted. 
What? Oh, whoa! That is cool. That is definitely, oops. That is definitely a keeper. What? These would look so cool to cut. When you're traveling in a van and you're a rock hound, it's difficult to be very selective <laughs> with what you take. Uh, especially when you have to pay to mail everything back. <laughs> We found that very difficult for us when we were back at um, at uh, the Silver Bell Mine because there was so much cool stuff and I had to break everything into little small pieces to take with us. This guy was looking right back at me. Look at the bands on this one. This is so rad. Yeah, I just said rad. <laughs> Man. It's always cool when you find like a new creek or something to rock hound in. But like just being so far away from home and uh, you know, finding this, this new creek to rock hound in is just awesome. Cause it's like everything is new. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but it just rained last night. So everything is like just wet and like ready to, ready to pick. That's awesome. looks like it's full I bag it maybe not but still it's cool look at that it's like all striped down the sides Liz must have found something she's sitting down Yellow uh, jasper, and they've got lines of agate in it. Oh, is it? I thought it was chert. No. So I'm guessing this is a common stone here. Um, it's jasper, to my knowledge. And then there's lines of agate in that. So I guess that would make it a jasper agate. And they're quite beautiful. I bet these would be really beautiful polished up. So... You know, I know we're a little over a year into rock County, but I still feel so new. But I'm confident to call this a jasp agate. Looks like there's other stuff in it too. These are beautiful. Um, and I think the red stuff is actually hematite. It's kind of porous looking. Oh, okay. What a beautiful tree. This one was left as a love note from a rock hound. What is that? I don't know. Weird. That's cool. Ooh. It's like a half and half. Yeah. Ooh. And then that one. I don't That's know. interesting. I just thought that was interesting. Yeah. Lots of. I that wouldn't be surprised garbage. if we find some nice sea maggots out here eventually because I see like lots that? of layers of um, mineralization. So that's beautiful. See the other side? Wow. 
That would be cool, Tumblr. If we Fair. ever, Ragnar, we'll, we'll get our Tumblr going. <laughs> we will, Ragnar. <laughs> Someday. Ragnar rocks. <laughs> So many more rocks to search in so little time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that this creek is probably not the prime rock hounding creek in this area of Montana, but it's the first creek that we've really had a chance to explore. And I think there's a lot of good hints that we're going to have a great trip here. A uh, good experience here in Montana with rock hounding. Uh, there's Jasper everywhere. It's crazy. And like just all, like spider web through all the rocks is agate. Like it's insane. Um, we haven't found any like super high quality pieces yet because we haven't dug deep yet, so stay tuned. We're gonna find a lot more cool stuff. I know it. Such a beautiful campground this time of year too. It's just all these fall colors happening. All right, you ready to go? Let's do this. All right. Looks fake, doesn't it? Oh. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.